with another one, and here with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review, and or Bionicle playset review, actually, and today it is on the Race for the Mask of Light from 2006. <coughs> so on the front of the booklet, see a picture of the two uh, speeders in action above the lava, and the Bonk logo, Voyanui symbol, set number 8624, Bonk.com, Lego logo, and the name. And on the back is Add for the Bonk Heroes game and Add for the Bonk website. And then Discover the Lego Universe. So if things were a uh, horrible shop at home and win on the online survey and Lego Club. And then and, for, and then after the Paraka and Toa and Nika and the three Titan sets from the time. Then after the three main play sets of which. And then all the pieces that come with the set, of course, and which is two pages and the last steps. So for the mini figs, I'm going to this. Which are about the same as from all the other of uh, Buyanui play sets. Of which for the Paraka ones are Redak, Hakan, Thok, and Zaktan. Okay. Well, same as from most of the other ones. Oh, whoops. Hang on. Then, as for the Anika ones, get Yuki, Holly, Jaller, and Nuparu. Also, about the same as from most of the other sets. Like, same arm pieces, everything. And also the head pieces that do well match up for the rest. For well, the other sets, of course. And although it could have included all six of both, or both sixes, but that would have been a little too much. But they say that for a Paraka Stronghold, which we'll get to next, next throwback Thursday. And first of all, for the builds, is get this a uh, little tower kind of thing. Oh, which just about like most the like the other 2006 playsets had the uh, rock base piece, which I believe might be from some uh, castle lines, of course. But also, instead of like dark blue like most of the others, this has some dark red, so a little change of pace for it. And well, unlike most of those, it does have the like. I like some of the red Vaki tools on them. But also what the Axon Axe Blade is for is when, when you pull this, it drops right down. Which is cool. Even though it does kind of stick out a little bit, but at least it's there anyways. Whereas the top area, which which does have Brutaka's mask with the little red spikes that stick out. And notice the little Rakshi stave there. Well, if you look from the back, then you see it has the large yellow rubber band around it. And what you basically do with it is that you make that either you yourself or anything hits it, and it juts right up, and it's easy to put back down. And now again. Oh, which kind of a fun feature. And I think that is it for that. And for first one of the speeders or of whatever they are is this one. Like the front part of which which has Brutaka's mask also with the same uh, red spikes there and the Vizirak feet over Onuamata's claws. And have some a lot of jagged slopes around, and what those white rods are for, which you'll see in a moment. And see, 
a lot of space, but quite vacant, but enough to put minifigs on. But it does have a Xamarosphere launcher about it that has a Butaka blade above, but also a couple of the red spikes on to the side. And the back part of which, which has Paraka Redax uh, blade and then a pair of Visorak pinchers to there. But that's the back part of which, which where the features come in. When turn this little gear on it, and it makes the Xamarosphere launcher turn back and forth. And when and also notice the like two things right here when you push on the Put that around. It makes the claws move around, of which quite fun and interesting. And the top balcony part, which has those blades used from the 2005 playsets, and then a, an extra one of Rutaka's blades. I think that is it with that. And now on to the third build and the other speeder of which which does have the dark blue like the other ones do <coughs> and also as for the side parts of it, which are these big long slope pieces like we've often seen in the Star Wars and such lines also on Paraka Stronghold and but also Liwa Nuva's katanas to the sides, probably for like extra selects and dice. And then a little farther up, also get these large panel pieces with that have a couple of the Xamar Spheres launchers with also again with Liwa katana. So a ton of Liwa Nuva's katanas on this, and then silver paraka foot on top and dome piece like from the Viserac Gate playset, of course, and blue rock cheese staves there. And a little thing that I did, and what the tools are here for, is something that I did, just needed to like store them away somewhere. Although you can store them in here, like the Xamarosphere's, if you want to, but anyways, for the main feature of this is if you turn this part of which, and it makes this platform turn right up. In this bottom area, which is where you store other Xamarospheres into it. And uh, what else is there? But at least quite an interesting kind of build. Well, these two builds together are make a good little speeder. Or I mean, speeder race thing, kind of like the pod racers in Star Wars, of course. But although it was quite wide and enough space, really wide, which kind of takes up a lot of space, but that's all right. And so now, let me get these together, and we'll see the final verdict. Whoops. So overall, I think these are, this is which a kind of cool set, even for a retailer exclusive. Uh, not sure which retailer it was exclusive to, but whatever. But at least get a good amount of Liwa Nuva's katanas and good for mock making, and also three builds in a packed together in a single set which I don't see very often nowadays, but at least cool to have that here. And get a quite good selection of minifigs, of course, as well. Oh, and uh, yeah. And if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I uh, yeah, hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still want to get this set, then go ahead and get it. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.